Bet you've never heard of corrugation. It's a system that may lie hidden in your pantry right now. Ever notice those bumps on food cans? That's exactly what they're called. And they're not just for aesthetics. First off, they make the can extra strong. That's because they can help it from cracking during the manufacturing process. Plus, these corrugations come in handy during delivery, acting like a shield to make sure there's no spillage. They're also useful in the long run because they help keep the cans in their original shape. Even when things get too hot or too cold, these corrugations let them breathe a bit. They expand and contract without breaking the metal. You may not notice any cracks on regular cans, but even the tiniest of openings can leave a way for nasty bacteria to get in contact with the food. Not to mention, they create this little air gap. So when you pop the can open, everything slides out smoothly without you having to put in that much effort. You know what also doesn't require much effort? Hitting that subscribe button and liking this video. You know there's a plant out there that's so eager to reach the sun, you can hear it grow? Rhubarb, just before it's picked from the fields, soaks up all the sun rays it can get to make glucose. After this sunbathing session, it gets transported to dark sheds. Inside, it keeps on growing and uses the stored glucose as fuel. Nothing out of the ordinary so far, but in that dark, cozy, and warm place, rhubarb starts acting weird. That environment pushes the plant to stretch itself out in hopes it will find sun rays again. It happens so fast that you can actually hear the buds and stalks making noise as they pop open. To make sure this process goes smoothly, there's no light allowed. If light hits the rhubarb at this point, it will start photosynthesizing again and go bitter. Speaking of everyday groceries, you might have noticed that veggie bags come with some green stripes. Know that it's a sneaky optical trick. Those stripes fool our eyes into believing the veggies look way greener than they are. And it's not just veggies that get this special packaging. Oranges are often sold in red mesh bags for the same reason. Lemons? They go for yellow or green bags for that same pop of color. If your cooking skills aren't that good and you're just afraid you're going to mess up dinner yet again, stick to mushrooms. That's because they're almost impossible to overcook. Unlike other vegetables that turn into mush when overcooked, mushrooms are way more resistant. They've got this interesting substance called chitin, a molecular structure that works like an armor. So you can cook them forever, they won't burn. Donuts don't have holes in them because it's easier for you to pick them up. If you've ever tried to make them at home, you might have noticed that when you fry the dough, the outside gets done quickly, thanks to the hot oil. If you want the inside to look just as good, you have to keep it in the oil way longer, but then the outside would get too brown. Thanks to that middle hole, the heat gets to both sides equally, cooking up a flawless donut. Here's how that small piece of paper makes it into your fortune cookie. First, they bake these cookies flat, like pancakes. Then, while they're still warm and bendy, they sneak in those tiny messages. As the cookies cool down, they toughen up and keep their shape, trapping the fortune inside like a tasty time capsule. One legend has it that these Asian treats were initially intended to help people send all sorts of secret messages without causing any suspicion. Here's a little tip for whenever you're buying lunch at a fast food place. Skip the word extra when you're ordering. The moment you speak that term, you're tempting the employees to charge more. Instead, go for something like a little more please when you're getting a special burrito bowl. According to a UK study, cheese is the most stolen of foods worldwide. It's estimated that around 4% of all cheese just vanishes from stores. And no, it's not mice doing the stealing, it's people. Why? Because cheese is becoming more and more valuable. The price of cheese is constantly going up, and sneaky thieves are trying to make easy money by simply taking it from the racks. It's not just cheese, though. 
Other interesting items on the thieving list include fresh meat, chocolate, and seafood. Ferrero, the company behind those luscious jars of Nutella, needs about 25% of the world's hazelnuts every year. So if you think about it, one in four hazelnuts ends up in a chocolatey jar. The manufacturers get the nuts from Turkey, Italy, and Chile, making sure they get them delivered from both the northern and southern hemispheres to keep things fresh. Nutella's impact on the economy is even bigger than you'd imagine. Because of this demand, the price of hazelnuts went through the roof. In 2014, a frost hit Turkey's hazelnuts, supply got halved, and prices were even higher. Now, even places like New Jersey are trying to grow those Nutella-worthy nuts. When you imagine someone trying to sneak something into space, your first thought wouldn't be a sandwich. But back in 1965, during a Gemini mission, astronaut John Young brought a corned beef sandwich on board, going against NASA rules. He hid it in his spacesuit pocket before blastoff. About two hours into the five-hour trip, he went to the mission commander and offered him this unlawful treat. The commander, being a good sport, took it, and they shared a quick, savory moment. He even put the unfinished sandwich in his own spacesuit pocket to avoid crumbs making a mess of the spacecraft. Meanwhile, the official NASA-approved food was waiting patiently in a box nearby. Surely, radishes aren't your first pick when it comes to salad ingredients, but they have quite an interesting history, too. These mustard, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower cousins have been grown and eaten for longer than you'd imagine, even before the Romans were famous in ancient Egyptian times. In fact, radishes were used as currency for the people who built the pyramids, alongside onions and garlic. You'd think the English are champions when it comes to drinking tea, but you'd be wrong. Turkey is in fact the tea capital of the world. Every Turk drinks an average of 1,300 cups of tea each year. On a regular day, they're sipping on three to five cups, but when winter hits, they can reach 10 cups a day. Locals claim tea is like a social custom for them. It's more than just a hot beverage. It's an excuse to sit down, enjoy the atmosphere, and connect with loved ones. When it comes to types, black tea is preferred. There might be a magical drink hidden in your fridge. It's tonic water, and it might be able to glow in the dark. If you're curious, test it out with some ultraviolet light. The secret behind this glow is pretty simple. Tonic water has quinine, a chemical that lights up under certain conditions. Quinine was used back in the day to treat certain health problems. The stuff was so bitter that some people started mixing it with sugar and soda water. In simple terms, things glow because they absorb light energy, gets all excited, and then releases it as visible light. Quinine in tonic water absorbs and releases energy, making your drink look like it's from a fairy tale. there's an interesting connection between what we hear and what we taste. Scientists investigated and found that people worldwide link certain sounds with specific flavors, and they call it cross-modal correspondence. High-pitched sounds match up with sweet and sour tastes, while the lower, jarring sounds go hand-in-hand -hand with bitterness. If it's staccato, think crunchy, and if it's smooth and flowing, think creamy. Some even found music that can enhance the taste of chocolate. In this study, when people listened to a high-pitched sweet soundtrack while eating chocolate, they thought it was sweeter than when they'd heard a lower, more dissonant soundtrack. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.